How do animals protect themselves from danger? Okay, first let's talk about ourselves. How do we humans protect ourselves from danger? Apart from our body parts, we humans use various tools or weapons or anything available to protect ourselves in case of danger. Like, Aman and Anand used fire to scare away the bear. So what do animals use when they are in danger? They cannot use some guns or knife or fire like us. Aman, can you tell me why the dog stopped barking and ran away? It is because the cow was about to attack it by its horn. So animals do have some or the other mechanisms to protect themselves. Let us see the case of deer. A deer is a fast runner. Its sense organs are well developed to warn them of any danger around. This helps it to escape from its enemies. Why does porcupine have spines? It keeps other animals away from it. Why do snakes have poison? To scare others away from it. Why do snails have shell? The hard shell protects its soft body. Have you ever seen this happening? In stories, it is so exciting to watch the supernatural characters grow in size, become bigger and larger and scare away the enemies. And then they come back to their normal form. You will be surprised to know the porcupine or puffer fish does the same to protect itself. This fish has flat, needle-like spines all over its body. If an enemy scares it, the porcupine fish swallows water and blows up like a balloon. It puffs up to two or three times its normal size. It doesn't get any longer, but it sure gets bigger around. Not only its large size scares away the enemy, but its spines now stick straight out. Most enemies don't dare touch the porcupine fish then. Once danger has passed, the fish shrinks to its normal size. Isn't it interesting to know? So different animals have different defense mechanisms to protect themselves. Can you tell me why was Aman winning all the time? No one was able to find him. When he was playing the hide and seek at his grandparents' place? It is because he was hiding behind the things which had the same color as his dress. So it was difficult to identify them. Now, let us also play a game. Find out the animals which are hiding. Can you find out who is hiding here? It's an owl. It does have a good hideout, don't you think so? And who is hiding here? It is Mr. Frog. Now, this is little difficult to find. What is this? It's a crab. What is this? The polar bear is sleeping in the snow. Is there anything to find out here apart from the leaves? Yes, it's an insect 
just like a leaf. Lastly, find which animal is hiding here. It's a chameleon. Look, who is hiding here? No, it's not any animal. It is some army personnel on a mission. Why does the army personnel wear such uniform? By dressing this way, they try to blend in with the background of the forest. This way, they have a much better chance of survival. They are less likely to be killed by the enemies if they are hard to find. So, we do learn a lot from the nature, like from animals. Using this uniform, humans also merge with the jungle surroundings to protect themselves from the enemies during missions. This adaptation by which the animals merge with the surroundings so that they are not spotted easily is called camouflage. It is useful to animals both ways, while hiding from their enemies and while attacking their victims. Chameleon is one of the most famous creatures for camouflage since they can change colors to match their backgrounds. Think of how good you would be at hide and seek if you could change colors like a chameleon? Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Unknowingly, I was using this camouflage technique during the hide and seek game as I was wearing the green dress and hid behind the green bushes. I think I would become a good army man. To protect themselves, Animals have adapted themselves in the following ways. Run fast to escape from enemies. Have unique body parts like horns, spines, shells. Have special characteristics like poison, change colors. Or use camouflage, that is, merge with the surrounding to hide themselves. <laughs>